What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. And to remind you where we left off, um, it has hit the proverbial fan because we are now at war with Austria and Westphalia. So yeah, we've managed to do some good actions to push back some Austrian armies, but they have got a lot of troops, so we are going to be on the back foot quite significantly. I could do really do with thinning out some of these troops in northern Italy, but you can see they've got, as I advanced, I suddenly went, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, no, no more. Don't push up anymore. Um, and I was quite forlorn by the amount of money I was making, but actually it turns out uh, we're okay. But one thing I am probably going to do is take my policies and get the nobility and tax them more. Notch it up one level to get extra income to help fund my war machine. Um, so I've got this army embarked. I'm not quite sure what I want want to do with it yet. Um, I'm okay with... Well, I can actually... Because I'm an absolute monarchy. I'm going to have to do this. I don't want to do it, but I need to do it to really boost my income to support the amount of troops I'm going to need to create to destroy the enemy. And because I'm an absolute monarchy, I get massive bonuses to um, nobility happiness, so I can screw with them a bit more than I normally would. Um, well, obviously, we are at war with the uh, United States as well. <laughs> that's, all, that's all kicked off as well. Um, I'm trying to... Well, I've made peace with the Cherokee. So you now I've got more money coming in. You guys might actually hold the border near the Cherokee. But we can start to um, push against Louisiana. But apart from that, you know, it's it's pretty pretty dire the situation. There's a lot uh, a lot going on. But yeah, I'm hoping I can fight a couple of defensive battles against the Westphalians. Thin them out, and then I can start to take Cologne and Hanover, and maybe push in. Because I was contemplating attacking Berlin, but I think I might. That might leave too many. Like a quite a large portion of troops, kind of isolated, in a non-fortified town. Could take Königsberg. That might be a target for Finland. Get this army into Königsberg. And use it as a magnet to try and draw Ottoman Aust Austrian troops to to attack the city. Um, but we are going to have to endure a end turn where the Austrians are supreme. Oh, this could be bad. I'm significantly uplifted by my financial situation because previously we were on about sixteen grand, which is nothing. But now we're back up to well, more than 70-ish now. So I can really get some more troops recruited here and do some good stuff. I mean, it looks like they don't want to leave northern Italy, which is good. Because it means that we can squeeze them in the Balkans and have the majority of their troops not be in play. Although it looks like they're, they're getting wise to that. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to squeeze Transylvania. Ooh. A nice defensive action against a single Austrian army. That's exactly the kind of engagement I want to do. Yes. So they've got lots of really cool looking elite troops for Austria. Um, which isn't something you normally get. Because Austria's usually got a fairly benign um, unit roster. But now they've got lots of Hungarian fusiliers and lots of, lots of good units there, really. Good stuff. Um... Yeah, hopefully I can do a significant amount of damage to this Austrian army. Terrain's a bit funky. I want to deploy... So they're in a better position. I want to deploy on, on this slope, really. Realistically, this is where I want to be. Because I've got loads of artillery... And I want to use it, don't I? Really. I've not got as much... Ooh, actually, if I put you against that, there's a... 
a feature here that prevents them from being charged from the flank, but I am going to still deploy troops down on the lower ground. Terrestrial guerrillas deploy on the flank as well. Although that's one unit that's going to be in the battle line. Two field artillery units are going to be up to the in the rear because we've actually not got a huge battle line. I've got my conquistadors, which are brilliant cavalry. And my halberdier guard are going to sit behind my one gun team. But this is where my real secret source lies. How it says. Oops, and my general, obviously. Not, not any general, General Field Marshal of the Army. So let my howitzers all fire round shot. So what you can see is they've got Lanvin Militia, Footline Infantry Unit, Militia, Hungarian Fusiliers. That's the kind of unit I was looking at previously. Provincial Cav, Freikorps Line Infantry, Marines, Hungarian Fusiliers. Yeah. More Hungarian Fusiliers, Lancer Guards. So we're trying to pound their artillery and they're doing the same to us. But they attacked us, so uh, they have to be on the offensive here. All my artillery folks on their 12 pounder foot artillery unit. Try and do some damage. This regiment of horse has decided it wants to do. It wants to try and knock out my gun team that's in the line. A Royal Halberdier Guard. I'm going to have something to say about that. You guys might you might have to load canister shot based on the time it will take to reload. I mean that tree might cause you some issues. Here comes the quick line. Canister shots coming in as well, and my Spanish Walloon line have obliterated that unit of provincial cavalry. Okay, so these two units to the rear can keep attacking their artillery. Nope, engage the 10th light horse because they're now coming in. Hello, Carabiner. Have you met the Spanish Conquistadors? They've got carbines too, and they're pretty freaking awesome. Round shot the 10th light horse. Quick line the 10th light horse. If you can reload in time. Ooh, I see the carabine is pushing up on the flank, but they're just, they're just walking. Yeah, that's a couple of them down. Some more shots coming in. to shot the 10th light horse. Yeah, they're done for. Let's take advantage of this. these um, easier to kill units as we advance. I mean, you guys at the back should still be attacking their gunners. Uh, the Lancer Guard should get wiped out by infantry fire.
steady shaken. I mean, deploying the square because I can then counter charge with my fusiliers. You men are going to blast that Royal Hungarian Grenadiers right in front of your face. And let the quick climb roll, because here come the infantry. I mean, that's really not great. <laughs> Man, my Walloon guard aren't that badly damaged. Oh. Carabiners have hit my gorillas, so I wasn't paying attention. How's their artillery doing? Have they been... Looks like they've been knocked out. So then let's take these gunners and get, give them alternative targets. The carabiner are going to die to my conquistadors. But now this is it. This is where the, how, the uh, howitzers come into play. So you men just get out of the combat. I mean, I might, I could just charge the Fusiliers because they're not good in melee combat. If I can take out the Fusiliers, you guys can pivot like so. Yep, quick clones coming in. Oh, they got some Irregulars back there as well. Oh no, not the Irregulars. Go get him, Conquistador. Get ready to fire. Shrapnel shot, they're pivoting. So let's pivot my troops. To match and to fire into the flank. The Irregulars are, re are, re are wavering already. But yeah, the Hungarian... I mean, I, 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 Hungarian Fusiliers could well be a bit better in the combat, but they ordinarily, that's the, that is the Fusilier weak point. Oh, good quick climb there. Hit the Grenadiers. A great quick climb shot hit then of all clustered up on the flank. The regulars are broken. Fusiliers are upset. It's two units. Oh, it's a lot of units that are routing there. Are you guys ready your carbines? Fire a volley into the flank of the Fusiliers there. Field Marshal over on the right flank. Just pour fire into the flank of these Fusiliers, because they're not in great shape. Let's get how it's hit that foot unit there, get a how it's had hit. We get most of our how to help clear out the right flank a bit. Because the left looks ripe. Ripe for the taking. Field Marshal help take out the Fusiliers. Oh, my gorillas down here. Fight well on, sorry. Engage the enemy up the hill. So they've deployed stakes to help protect themselves from a cavalry charge. You, good sir. Chase down the routing enemy. Fusilier unit done. Conquistadors advance to threaten the general. But you men may as well continue to pursue and destroy. But yeah, my conquistadors couldn't deal with the general. Oh no, those are a regular Hussar unit. Yeah, okay. Might be a bit dodgy there, but... 
Howitzer's focus on the right flank. Something like that. The guns up on the hill. Blast the Hungarian Fusilier unit. There we go. Focus, quick line fires, taking care of them. Go on, knock out some of these Hungarian grenadiers. They're wavering. They've routed the Hungarian fusiliers. Well, the army's broken. Come on, kill that grenadier because there's fusiliers right there as well. Not just any fusiliers, the first regiment of foot. Ceasefire the artillery. So you men here. I mean, some of those infantry to the rear would be nice to take down, but we'll take what we can get. Especially if what we can get is a couple of decent fusilier units. It's a marine unit there. Knock out that line infantry. You might not make it. Switch, get your carbines ready. But you can at least try and kill some men with gunfire. Kill that handful of militia. Field Marshal. Pistols ready as well. Yeah, it's just a regular unit of line infantry, sadly. Might be able to take out. Might be able to. No, sadly not. Could get these guys to chase down that unit of Marines. Field Marshal can also take out the Marines. You guys are going these guys are probably gonna escape because they've spread out well enough. Those marines are going to escape, but not before they lose a lot of their men. That line infantry unit has been destroyed. Awesome. So that's another that's a full Austrian army with lots of pretty good troops chewed up for quite cheap. Yeah, that's really cheap. Back you go. A few more of those and we'll be okay. Ooh. Uh, withdraw. Because that army, A, they're already depleted and B, they've got some artillery reinforcements coming up. Yeah, they're, they're fortifying Transylvania because they know we're on our way. Yeah, and Russia still could still declare on us. But even if they do declare on us, all we can really do is just focus on the focus on the um, the Austrians because they're the true enemy. They're the significant enemy. Westphalia could cause us some concerns, but they're going to try and attack our cities, which we've got quite well fortified. Fear not, Russia. We have no quarrel with you. Nor you, Cherokee. Yep, here comes the Westphalians. That's pretty good. We can chew up two stacks of, well, one and a half stacks-ish of troops. Um, once we annihilate their infantry, their cavalry will fall back. So let's do it. This is the kind of action we need to do in the west. Because once Westphalia is weakened, our left flank can advance around Württemberg, take Cologne and take Hanover. And before you know it, we've got a front line towards Berlin anyway. But I really don't want to put men in the Swedish garrison in Berlin. But I do want to, I, I do want to put them in Königsberg, especially when there is an open port and they have no garrison, so we can demand the surrender of the city and take it for free. 
and we've got pikes. So ideally, ideally, we want them to blow their way in, but they're not gonna. So we might have to make them. Okay, if we're gonna do that, because blowing a way in would be the most cost-efficient way of cost-efficient way of um, taking out the the enemy. Because you've got pikemen, and obviously we've got all these defensive, um, like these defensive um, extras. So if we're going to shoot that section there, you're going to get off the wall. Let's get our cavalry in. Our howitzers are going to be over here on the left. We've got an awful lot of them. Not a bad thing in itself. So artillery attack ground. Fire round shot because they should be in range there. We might destroy the armory. Okay, now you can fire quick load. So the enemy reinforcing army is coming in over there, which actually we've not got any men on the wall. So let's run. You guys are Swiss infantry. Get up there. Cease fire the guns temporarily. Yeah, the armory is going to go down. Advance the Swiss Grenadiers forward a little bit. They won't be able to believe their luck when we when they we shoot down our own wall. Let's speed up time, because right now all we've got is a bunch of advancing infantry. I mean if they if they try and take the wall, that'll be funny in itself, because obviously we are actively trying to destroy it, so. They can have at it. Well, you guys might need to pivot to cover the gate. Oh no, no matter. So the 51st Regiment of Foot's been pushed back. How did you all die? Oh, you must, it must have been um, quick climb. Very well. Switch to round shot and engage the cavalry to the rear if you're going to just kill my own men. And they're wavering. If we can make them rout, that's perfect. Yeah, keep attacking the wall. I mean, that's a delicious quick climb target, but I fear we are too close. No, we aren't. <laughs> you mad fools. So your men, your job is just to hold. So that's the 50th regiment of foot broken. You guys are pouring some good fire onto the 14th. But yeah, they won't be able to believe it. When we've made a hole in the wall. So they'll be thinking, what idiots, look what they've done. And you go, yeah, but... It's not so much for this battle, it's for later battles. For later battles, it'll be really useful. So then we'll probably want to take... Okay, let's put... Some pikes there. Pikes behind the guns. Grenadiers covering 
that zone there, European line there. There we go. So the gunners hot fire. So now they're thinking, oh my god, they've blown down their own wall. What a bunch of buffoons. And they might well think that, but then you guys all form up. First catch of the day. There you go, these men have all routed, so this Swiss line can occupy the command HQ. That Swiss line can probably actually occupy that position primarily. The 47th have just taken a quick climb to the face. All the men have died from quick climbing when they bolt when they um bundled up there. So right now they are... There we go, now they're starting to get in. Hello. Second rank. Secure the... Okay, halt fire. Secure the square. Get back. More quick climb coming in. The 51st have now taken another hit. Got plenty of cavalry coming in. Militia routing there. Yeah, this looks like a unit. Yeah, we've been getting some friendly fire from quick climb but that's, it's kind of necessary because I had to deploy my guns over here whereas in reality I'd rather have my howitzers here and have a bit more control over where everyone's shooting you fire it well off you fire it well off you men run grenadiers form square they're coming! It's the cavalry time! Yeah, they might cause some of our gunners to route, but... Push into the six... Oh, they're routing already! They haven't even... They didn't even get in. Oh, you guys attack them, don't cause any upset. Because you know how all the cavalry is coming in. Oh god, those men have just really done a number on cavalry in the centre. Now my pikes, it's the turn for my pikes. In you go. Hook them off. Hook them off their horses. Because they won't like that for very long. <laughs> Keep pushing out. More infantry coming in, but... Right now, because it's mostly cavalry, let's just take advantage of that and just send our pikes in. Because that will shred them. Provincial Cavalry, 16th Regiment von Milititz, Militz Cavalry. Yeah, no, they don't like that. Imagine charging into all these pikes. So this is the reinforcements coming in, all my artillery. Drop quick climb, area attack there. Just somewhere to weaken them as they get, as they come in. Don't attack the men in the breach, because we're not bothered about that. You can carry on engaging them. 
militia, line, line, provincial cavalry, militia, or line infantry. Don't even have bayonets. That's right. Every every unit you push in, every cavalryman that runs in, just nope. Hook him off. I might try to get you guys here. Oh god, and they're firing into the rear. Okay, good. Some good quick climb hit there. The area attack strategy. It's also really damaged that cavalry unit. As we as we scrabble and kill. Because their militias come in, which might bog us down a bit, but... Okay, there we go. So at least we've got another gun and a handful of muskets. Because you guys are still engaging, or should be. Fire it all off, and then on again. So, quick climb attack ground there instead. Eh, they don't wish to attack. Provincial Cavalry says they're winning. That don't make any damn sense. Fire the cannon. That's a that's a big miss. There you go, blown a hole in the 46th regiment there. The fools. If you guys push up a little bit to the left. A little bit closer to the breach. You might be a bit more useful. I know what. Let's run an in one pike unit back. Form a pike wall. There we go. They are manning the appropriate positions on the wall. You men continue to attack the 48th. These men get into position. Form a... Well, you're facing the wrong way for a pike wall. Yeah, no, that's not where, not where I want you to go. You had your orders and it was to stand there like that, facing that way. See, look, they just turn around. It's like, okay, very well. If I point you this way. Okay, no, let's see if we can, okay. See, look, they're not even... The little symbol says they're pointing that way, towards the breach, but they aren't. Okay, let's try Pike Square, then. Because they should face all directions in Pike Square, right? Well, apparently not. formations. Just get them out of here. Let's increase the time because obviously they are not going to be advancing on us anytime soon. <laughs> and now we've got a lovely killing field for future attacks against us which I hope will come. Which it should do, really. This is kind of what they do. They oh, 530 men lost of ours. 3,887 Westphalians fell. Ooh, you want to have another go? Well, another army have another go? Sure. Come at us. Come at us.
the weaker you get, the easier it will be to take Cologne and push around to the north and really screw over the Austrians. And this will have been your doing, Westphalia. If you just held the front, you'd be okay. But no, you have to go on the offensive and you're going to do exactly what the Russians did in Romania and you're going to completely exhaust yourself trying to take us out. And who's going to look silly for it? Well, it's going to be you guys, isn't it? Oh, the breach is gone. What a waste of time. Let's just defend the war conventionally then. It's going to be a bit more of a blood fest, but... Just do it. Do it the way they want us to do it. So you haven't got to worry about putting men on the wall. So we've got our pikes. Our pikes. The job of the pikes will be to cover any lost, any doors we lose control of. Or more correctly, any any um, gatehouses we lose control of. So here comes the round shot. Because you fellows, I don't know what you're getting yourselves in for. And all this cavalry back there is useless. Because you men don't have the capacity to push and get in. So again, let's just let them... Let them advance. It's one unit retreating. Okay, I might get all my howitzers to just... Attack ground with round shot first, really. Doing some good damage to these militia units as they advance towards me. It's a couple of a couple of units repelled. You should be engaging them with muskets, I'm sure. Those men have been pushed back. They have managed to make landfall. Looks like this is their focal point. There we go. See how many Swiss grenadiers are now firing their muskets? Where well, they weren't before. Same like you guys. This is why we got some grenadiers on the walls, because they can now be used to... Well, no, don't go down the ropes towards them, you goons. Just sit up here and wait for them to push and take them out. Fourth Regiment of Foot hasn't managed to make it up the wall yet. Hopefully with a few more musket shots we can persuade them not to try it again. So the Barrar Regiment here don't have bayonets, so they should fall fairly well. Nope. See, they're too busy firing at the enemy that's on the wall, rather than manning their guns, like what these good fellows are doing. And granted, I will push them up to here now. Oh, the 10th Regiment of Militia is advancing within range of the wall again. And that will not be a good outcome for their troops. Oh 
take position on the wall and unload your muskets onto them. That could prob that will probably make them rout. Oh, they're close. There they go. They didn't get to put their grappling irons up either. Come in, grenadiers. Get to work. Ah, oh, that regiment's routing, so you men take position on the walls again. The grenadiers are here, guard mode on, to attack the 35th regiment. Howitzers. Quick climb the 28th, because they're just hunkering down. New man hit the 16th regiment, Prince Eisenberg. You men hit the 9th regiment, you men hit the 4th regiment. Good. So they've been routed. Continue to kill the handful of men that are on the wall. But apart from that, you men just... Take position on the fire step. You men attack the tenth. Oh, come on, Swiss line. You gotta be ready to attack the ninth. Or are you getting up to Firewall off, firewall on. Get the Lord folks on the fourth, because they're currently sat back. Good stuff. Soon that will be the end of the the end of the uh, this Westphalian army, and then it's just cavalry, cavalry, militia, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. So what I'll do to draw them in is I'll get ready to bring a I'll bring a well, there we go. So their actual offensive has been repelled near as damn it there's a militia unit trying to climb up the walls instead let's take this pike unit run them outside of the wall and then we'll use them as our fox to draw in the cavalrymen Get these mercenaries over here as well to fight the militia. Not really the best plan to do it at this moment because the enemy cavalry haven't actually. they're not in a position to charge us yet. Okay. Let's bring my pikes in and let's use a regiment of horse because they're much more mobile. So I can run up to you guys and go, hey, Provincial Cavalry, come play. All the hearts just fire a round shot and aim at them over there. Okay, they're wavering, so let's go chase, let's go collect this unit over here. Hopefully do the same thing. Oh, there we go, they've... The last infantry unit's gone, so they can't get in, so they've surrendered. Hooray! That's another gallant defence of Amsterdam from the Westphalians. Oh my god. Go on then. <laughs> we have to fight it, because if, if we don't, I'll lose loads more men every attack. And I really don't want that. That would be a, a recipe for disaster, and it would ultimately end up in the, the loss of Amsterdam if a 
auto resolve roll went particularly against me. Let's. <laughs> but again, just get everyone here. But yeah, what you will notice is that the enemy, the enemy's response will become weaker and weaker and weaker to the point where you know we don't even really have to worry like they will they will more than happily exhaust themselves against our fortifications and then our armies that are in good condition can then advance while they're in their weakened state and take their cities so get two more reserve units if they can't get in, I like to just have them deployed on the wall ready. You guys more than happily fire around shot at him. Then switch to quick climb because Kaplui, quick climb is awesome. Oh my god, quick climb is awesome. There we go, it's caused a couple of units to route already. There we go, they're already experiencing the morale shattering effects of our gunfire. They'll come back, but well, to be honest, as they're routing, I may as well focus my quick climb on them to prevent too much fratricide. Shattered, broken, 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 broken. <laughs> this is why having good artillery is so damn important when you attack a city. Because could you imagine doing this as your reg as your common strategy? Like no. It's unsurprising, really. Yeah, they might get some sections up. They might get some units up on the wall, but in the grand scheme, attacking a wall with just infantry like this is a bad idea. That's right. Rout me, old mucker. Broken, broken, soon to be broken. Everyone else is just in really poor shape. As the quick climb comes in, knocks a few more men out of their formation and makes it that much more difficult for them to hold on. Bouncing cannonball. Yeah, 25th are broken again. Good quick climb hit against the 13th. That should that's really cut them down to size. The 16th might come back, but not soon enough. Special McGrand is I've guard mode on. But they're going to be annihilating this unit of militia. I mean, it's militia for God's sake. The, the morale for them is terrible anyway. Good stuff there. But yeah, like imagine... Well, just think about the amount of attrition that these guys are suffering. For relatively little losses on my side. So when I do eventually attack, or begin my counter-attack, how weak they're going to be. I'm not even worried about running out of ammo. Like they're not even they're not even achieving that when it comes to mobbing you. God damn, speed up time. Just because 
why the hell not? Most of these men are are routing and aren't likely to come back. Or if they do come back, well, like this unit, they're shaken already and they haven't even made it to the line. Made it to the made it to the walls sh and they haven't even started to throw grappling irons yet so they are going to break before they get to throw their ropes up so they're not even going to scale the wall bit, a bit dangerous there twist around shot and shoot their pikemen all the way over on that flank because everyone else is going to break. Yeah, they've all broken. Okay, so I think like last time we might need to trigger them to realise they've lost. Yoo-hoo! Cavalry! Run! <laughs> okay, let's get a pike unit out by the gate as well. Let's try getting my cavalry in and my pikes out. Yeah, they're bro routing. The 18th are shaken. Ah, go on then. Get involved, everyone. To be honest, the cavalry is not really doing that much anyway. It's okay to lose a handful of them like this. Especially when I've got pikemen storming out to clear out the the enemy there. But again, speed up time because why not? So let's get my pike unit out here. Oh no, there we go. It's provoked them to realise they can't get in. Haha! <laughs> They've, they've realised we're not just going to run out and kill them, we're going to lure them into the to their deaths. For 69 men, that's nearly 1,800 Westphalians. Yep, they can't endure that level of attrition for too long, let me tell you. And pirates are going to pirate. Yep, you can keep blockading us if you like, but we have got loads of money. 75,000. So Bulgaria, build a port. Recruit a sloop. Oh, hold on, you're going to... Okay, first of all, you get into the fort. These engineers get up to the garrison here. You're doing the same. So you will be attacking Karl von Baden-Baden. You guys are going to keep replenishing. To be honest, no, actually no, you guys need to hold east. So I'll we'll try and push these guys into Transylvania. Okay, first of all, I think I need to start building up a another army here. Thirty-two pound of heavy horse artillery. There we go. Let's get some of those, and then get a engineer. Rome, obviously, you need to start building troops with some of this new general's bodyguard, with an idea to push into enemy territory. And again, you can get a guard unit. Then in Spain, General's Bodyguard, Guardia de Corps, you can combine with a Curacier and a not Carabinero, it's not what that, Curacier Guard, Conquistador. Okay, is that the last? That's the last 24 pounder I can get. Very well. So 
you men combine. Obviously, this force here still needs to hold in case the Mughals try and get up to any mischief. Let's get two Swiss Guard, two Swiss Line. Let's get... Corso Terresti de Navarra. Let's get two of them. And two Line. And a Pike unit. And another unit of Line in Lisbon. Good. Let's back that up even more with upgrading a bunch of factories and farms in some of our wealthiest regions. Good. So Edinburgh could probably do with okay, upgrade the farms as well. Because we've now got a new Farming tech. Don't want to do a global trading company yet because we've got to do some more stuff in the Americas first because you've taken the Windward Islands. So upgrade their infrastructure, upgrade the governor's mansion, upgrade sugar plantation. We'll pick up this spy on the Leeward Islands when, when they've replenished. Upgrade the commercial port. Upgrade the sugar plantation here. Upgrade this gold mine. Gold mines. Actually, no, 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 no. I've forgotten something. Europe. Amsterdam. Replenish. And to be honest, I might even push and take Cologne with this army here at Brussels. Because now they've been pushed back, they've lost a lot of their a lot of their bulk is now to the north of the city, which makes it ripe for the taking by our troops. So in Edmundo Caro Isia Sudera. Oh okay, they are gonna bring up reinforcements. Let's troop up. Ooh, does that, do we really want to do that then? I mean, granted they are, to be honest, this large army here is heavily depleted, so it's not going to make much of a difference, I don't think. We're still going to do it, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and see you next time when we take the fight to these Westphalian dogs. Cheers, everyone.